1951, I think Wanda Bush was the first woman to win a professional roping title, and that was in the tie-down roping. But it evolved from there to breakaway. So tie-down roping, you have to get off and actually tie the calf down. So breakaway is like cutting that in half. You have a calf, you have a girl, and you have a horse and a rope. You tie your rope on, you back in the box, you run after a calf, fastest time wins. Calf gets a head start, and so if you don't give the calf the allotted amount head start, you break the barrier, that's a 10 second penalty. Um, as soon as you rope the calf, your rope breaks off, and that's when they flag you for your time. So I learned about breakaway, I guess this has been a part of rodeo. When I was four years old, I started riding a horse. My family has a lot of background in rodeo and roping. So I just didn't really have a chance. That's what we did. I got stuck on horse and that's what we did. Used to, breakaway was after college, there wasn't a whole lot to do after. There was just amateur rodeos. So most girls phased out after college. Now, um, there's a lot, there was a lot of bigger jackpots, a lot of more added money. The girls, the numbers were there. There would be between 100 and 200 ropers at each event, and so the demand was high. So the American Rodeo, they put breakaway in and the WCRA was to follow, and then Cheyenne, Wyoming, and it just kind of ballparked and spun from there, and now the WPRA has put it into the PRCA rodeos as an option, so you can have a career in breakaway roping. So the formats of breakaway roping just vary on what the committee chooses to do. There's option of one head format, which is the fastest time wins. There's two, three, four head, which they'll add it up as an aggregate, and the average overall wins the event. Yes, anybody can do breakaway. Um, there's levels starting, there's youth rodeo, junior high rodeo, high school rodeo, college rodeo, amateur rodeo, all the way up to the pro levels. And there's even a senior pro option. So the different organizations of breakaway vary on where you're located. There's, in Texas where I'm at, there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of amateur associations, pro associations, so on and so forth. So to get started in breakaway roping, my professional opinion, I would say you start from the ground up. Uh, you need to learn about the feel of your rope. Some are going to prefer heavier weight, lighter weight. A lot younger kids use a lighter weight rope and then advance as they um, graduate, I guess, to the next level. Then I would say you would start on the dummy. Um, roping the dummy is great and I really love it because you can work on your form, your body position, your rope position, and most of the time you can tell if it's going good or bad. You need a horse. Um, I would recommend the horses on the level of roper you are. You know, a beginner roper, intermediate roper, I think you need to find a horse that knows what they're doing so that you can learn. After you get on your horse advancing to live cattle, I would take it in levels of how you feel where you're at categorized as a roper. Beginner, beginners, I would say start on slower cattle. The biggest thing I've learned in my career is horsemanship, um, and I continue to work on it each and every day, and I don't think I'll ever stop. And then from there, you know, obviously you can compete in events like we talked, there's several different levels and formats. So the biggest secret to success, I think, is having an elite inner group of people. Um, Lou Holtz said, you have to have something to do, something to believe in, someone to love, and something to look forward to. And so for me personally, I have a group of people that have supported me, been through blood, sweat, and tears. And if it wouldn't have been for them, I wouldn't keep going. Ask questions. You know, one of the biggest things I, I think personally that I didn't do soon enough was I didn't ask enough questions because I was intimidated or I was, you know, scared. I didn't want people to think I didn't know, but we don't know. Ask people that are better than you because one day hopefully you'll be that person that somebody's asking. One of the most evolving things about Breakaway is that it came from something you did until college and then you got a real job to now it's something that you can make a career in your lifestyle. It's an exciting time because we've actually got to be the forefront of girls who have been able to participate on the bigger platforms first and have gotten the opportunities. And just the fact that we were there and hopefully look back one day and say, you know, we did that. It's pretty cool to think about. We're good.